Hey guys, Chef Jason for my friends at the Colorado Department of Agriculture and Colorado Proud. Today, we have an exceptional recipe for you. That's right, we're gonna take those amazing Colorado sweet potatoes and we're loading them today. But I'll tell you what, not with ordinary ingredients. We are going to uh, season them with salt and pepper and then we are gonna roast them in the oven. We're gonna load them with marshmallow fluff. Uh, praline pecans, butter, whipped cream, and then we are going to torch that marshmallow on top to make it oh so beautiful. Thanks for hanging out with us. Let's get cooking. For our ingredients today, we're gonna to start off with some of those amazing Colorado sweet potatoes. And I went with kind of a medium size. I wanted to have enough meat in there to really enjoy what we are going to do with it. Now, seasoning it off, we're gonna start with salt, pepper, a little bit of our rub-a-dub, then we'll use that oil to kind of coat them and act as a binder as well. Filling them in today, stuffing these potatoes, making them the most amazing loaded potato ever, a little bit of marshmallow fluff, praline pecans, fresh butter, cinnamon whipped cream, then we're gonna put a marshmallow on top, add a little bit of fire to that and torch it off. Mm, it's gonna be good. We've got our oven preheating right now to 400 degrees, so let's go ahead, we'll add a light coating of oil to these potatoes, get those all turned and coated nicely. Then once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of our salt, just to get that seasoned up nicely. We're gonna add a little bit of cracked, fresh black pepper, like that. Then we're gonna add a little bit of our rub-a-dub seasoning to round it off. Now, go through here and give these a nice mix. Get them all coated in seasoning. And then we'll just let these guys sit till we're ready to go into the oven. Okay, so here we are right after 45 minutes and I'm starting to check their doneness. Now, tell you what, I am going to cook these today to an internal temp of 205 degrees. We're sitting right at about uh, 180. Yep, we're sitting right at about 180 degrees across the board. So we're gonna put these back in and we're gonna keep watching them till we hit that magical 205 degrees. All right, so there we are after 55 minutes in the oven. Took these guys out, we're letting them rest, cool off a little bit. We hit that magic 205 degrees. Now, we're gonna come in tight, we're gonna come in close, we're gonna show you how we stuff these things because it is time to make some loaded sweet potatoes. First thing we need to do is go in here and cut this and get ready to split it. I like to do a little zigzag, right? Kind of makes it look a little bit pretty. Then we'll give it a squish and look at that beautiful, beautiful potato right there. Now, we'll go ahead and add two pieces of butter in there. You can add just one if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and add two. We're gonna put a little bit of our cinnamon whipped cream, and I did this kind of soft, uh, just so it was nice and wasn't too peaks. We'll add those praline pecans in there, on and around as well, and then a little bit of that marshmallow fluff because this is going to make it absolutely phenomenal. So we'll add a little bit of that on top, just like that. We'll hope and pray that it gets off of the spoon perfectly like that. All right, now we will go ahead just for a garnish, just for a garnish, we're gonna split that marshmallow in half and we're gonna set a little piece there, set a little piece there. All right, next up, time to brulee this, torch it a little bit, give it some color, give it some flavor. Using one of my favorite chef tools, time to go in here and give these guys a little roasty toasty fun. Hey, make sure it doesn't catch on fire too because nobody likes charred marshmallows or do they? But that's it, I'll tell you what, add a little bit of fun to this, add a little bit of color. That right there is the perfect loaded sweet potato. Well, there you have it. Not a bad way to enjoy some sweet potatoes, that is for sure. Now, don't forget, you can grab today's recipe by heading over to coloradoproud.com. You can find today's recipe and a lot of amazing recipes featuring products raised, grown, and produced here in the beautiful state of Colorado. Once again, I'm Chef Jason for my friends at the Colorado Department of Agriculture and Colorado Proud. Happy cooking, and don't forget, always buy Colorado.